Baseball game? How exciting! Hey, kiddo! How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Ah, uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <sighs> extra, extra! Is your neighbor really human? We have the exclusive. Drop by. You holding up? Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller. <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait. <laughs> They boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it... it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, the, uh, big question. Why come to Diamond City? You're looking for someone, aren't you? Who is it? 
My baby, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? The Institute? Who are they? That, Blue, is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Synthetic people. Sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. They make synthetic people? That's right. There are two major kinds you have to watch out for. The first is an obvious fake. Skin looks like plastic, skeleton might even be showing. You see groups of them scouring the Commonwealth, killing people and scavenging what's left. I reported on University Point a while back. <laughs> Whole town got cleaned out. The second type of synth is the real deal. With skin, blood, warm smiles and guilty glances, just like a good old-fashioned human. So do you think they could be involved? The Institute or one of their agents? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that that you'll see them again, or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load, or 